for all of the uh, little leaguers through the country in Canada, here is Jackie Robinson to give them some batting tips. Well, let's have a fine human here. Well, John, And this is particularly nice because Jackie, as you know, this year was voted into the Baseball Hall of Fame the first time he was up for it and just came back from UCLA where he was honored as the, use, the Euclid Alumnus of the Year. Now, we got your model here, your model bat, Jackie, and I'm going to ask a couple of questions for the kids. That is my model. This is Isn't it? Willie Mays on here, Ed. <laughs> Jackie, that's show business. Well, it's quite a <laughs> Now, Jack, I'm going to ask you a couple of questions for, for these young, the youngsters home. What would you say would be the first thing that these little fellas made to 12 should remember? Well, the first thing I would say, Ed, is that they should not imitate a Willie Mays, for instance, while he's at bat. They must get their own style. Get in the batter's box, be comfortable, because, uh, as you know, the real good hitters all are, are individual players. They have individual styles. So for a little leaguer to try to imitate one of the big league ball players, they'll get into some awfully bad habits. That's very, that's very, very good. Right. Now, and what, that, pardon me, Jack. Yeah, go ahead. What position should the bat be, you know, if, for these youngsters? Mm -hmm. where, when at the top of the swing, where should they be? Well, I think if you, if you watch the good hitters, Ed, they, they have their bat all the way back so that they don't start here and then go back. They get it back and they swing from here. <laughs> John, I didn't pick out that bat. <laughs> and, and in other words, you get it back get there, it all the way start back. it from there. That's right. Same as in golf. You get it back here, and if you get here and then you jump like that, you mm -hmm. know, you're going to throw your timing off. He played with me, so he knows what I do. <laughs> now, one other tip for all of these youngsters. What, well, uh, to me, really, the, uh, probably the most important thing for a youngster is to keep his eye on the ball, Ed, from the moment it leaves the pitcher's hand until it comes in contact with the bat. Because if he takes his eye off the ball any time, he will lose sight of it, and therefore he will not be the hitter that uh, he ought to be. So that's very important, keeping their eye on the ball from the moment it leaves the pitcher's hand until it hits the bat. Okay. And don't swing too hard, that's one thing. Uh -huh. Fine, and, and two, the ball could be curving, come in, so well, if he watches it, then he can uh, see that. That's right. In it. I think Ted Williams, uh, who was probably the best hitter that uh, ever went up to the bat that I saw, said that he could see the ball hitting the bat. Now, if you can do that, you're going to be a pretty good hitter. Wow, well, I know these youngsters at home are going to get a terrific rap out of this. Ladies and gentlemen, let's have a tremendous hand for one of the nicest persons I've ever met. <laughs>